All right, hello again. Really quickly, really quickly, let's do this. Let's see, who is white? There we go, who is black? Everyone recognizes black, everyone will, everyone will. Absolutely, there we go. Uh, no, Bat does not currently accept Bitcoin, I'm sorry. I have been asked that before, I have been asked that before. But no, I do not have those set up. I'm thinking about it, because it's been requested a couple of times. Anyway. Uh, this game, I will immediately uh, apologize to your eyes. We saw a game that did not feature any Chinese openings. That was amazing. This one is not going to be like that. Most unfortunately. We are going to see immediately a uh, Chinese opening. Just like we've been seeing in every single... Alright, serious question here. Those of you who've been following along in the Jubango, do you think we are ever going to see a single game that they don't open with the Chinese? You know, one or the other? Think that's going to happen? Because I'm not so certain anymore. I think this is going to be renamed. This isn't like Isidol vs. Guli Jubango series. This is just like the bust of the Chinese opening. And it's going to be put in a book and annotated, and it, that's, that's going to be a thing. People aren't even going to remember that these two players played it. It's just going to be instructional information for future players. Game 2 had no Chinese? Really? I have to go back and look at that one. Did it really have no Chinese? Hmm. I dimly recall going over it. Did I go over it? I think I did go over it. I did go over game two. I have a video on game two. Why don't I know this? Alright. That that just that just pissed me off. I have to go back and look. Right now. This lecture has been halted. What the crap? Am I losing my marbles? What was played? In game two. Teach me, O Batosai, what has happened in this game. Oh, right, because he approached and then the three... F okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. That's why I went over it, too. Alright, good point. Good point. I remember this game now. <laughs> Alright, so the rest of them are gonna have Chinese game. The re yeah, the rest of them will. That's... That's... I don't know where I'm going with this anymore, because that just completely, completely fell off. Suffice it to say, we're seeing micro-Chinese in this game. Normal approaches to the micro-Chinese is to approach the 3-4 stone instead. Black pincers. You can pincer all anywhere you want to, really. You can pincer like really far apart. You can do the closer one if you want. You can do this. It, it's you can even play down here. I mean, almost everything at this point has been tried against uh, in response to this particular se sequence. So this isn't the only answer. It's just an answer. This, on the other hand, super super common nowadays. We're seeing this Joseki all over the place. Just seeing it everywhere. What we aren't seeing, on the other hand, is White's response to it. Which is that. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. What do you do against this? I mean, I admire what he's doing. Not only is he playing something a bit unusual, he's big, he's playing something a bit unusual against Yi Cheng Ho. 
if I was going to play something a bit unusual, I'd pick, like, some one Don Pro that I'd never heard of if I was a pro player to test this out at. I wouldn't be like, you know, who's one of the strongest players in the country? Let's do it against him. It's like, how does... That's interesting. But okay. So... <laughs> So black plays the honey, as we would expect. Which immediately follows with a cross cut. Black takes. White plays the Atari. And I guess this is the first slip up that you can make. Because black takes, if we played here, then that's probably really good. Because we just got shape, and the stones on the bottom are going to be hurting for it. Here, we're still looking for shape. We don't really have it yet. S5 uh, is not sente. So, still looking, still looking, still looking. Not going to connect because that is way too passive. Going to Atari. White takes. Now we're in a really weird situation. Black plays the Hane. White has to not lose his shape. I don't know really I don't really know what we're making at this point, but whenever I see something like this, it's like I just jumped into a 30Q game. And they're just literally taking one point at a time across the board. I see a Moyo too, it's just not for white. So this is not a code that we can win ever, so white has to connect. I mean, where is your threat going to be? It's going to be nowhere, and then the corner is just going to be a really, really huge for black. And you don't want to give one of the best players of endgame an early territorial advantage. You might regret that one. So black extends. How are we going to use the influence? I have no idea. But it involves fixing our shape first and foremost. And doubling down on all of the influence. Now here's an interesting uh, little fight here that I thought was a little unusual. A little unusual. First, we have to identify, are we safe? It's that whole thing from last game, right? Do we really have to go deep into defensive mode here, or can we actually counterattack? Well, we see that, you know, this is still open and up for connection. Uh, we can still do something here. We've got potential for eyes all over the place. So I think we're okay. It looks like we're strong, so rather than like running him and giving him more influence to do who knows what with, Black says, yep, this is a good point to cut. I'm fine. I'm fine. Black ex white extends, someone extended. Where does the ladder go? Ladder is a must to read. But it looks like the ladder is not good for white. So sad. Can't Atari. Black gets more of a base. If we can't Atari, we have to extend. Which means black is going to come with us. And now you'd best know how to reduce. Because I'm pretty certain when someone's opening up the Chinese variation and you give them influence, you know, across nine lines, that's not good. What do you... Jamel, where have you... What games have you been watching for the last few years? Of course Li Chengho is going to fight. That's part of... He's had to fight. They took his style apart years ago. Right? Park Young-hun and uh, Cho Cho Han definitely destroyed him. Nope, Calm and Solid has gone the way of the dodo. Now it's just fight all of the things, and if that wasn't enough, inject yourself with rabies and try again. 
That's the only thing you can really try now. That seems to be trumping calm and solid right now, for the most part. Yep, it, it's sad. It is very sad, but his calm and solid play has it's had to be more aggressive. It's had to be more aggressive, and for a time, there were like this huge slew of just um, games where Lee Chang-ho was losing as he was just adjusting to this new style that he had to take up for himself. But alright, let's see. Oh my god, I get that on YouTube. Why do people say that? I have so many comments where people have said that. I don't get it. I don't see it. I don't hear it. I don't know. Anyway. What was I talking about? Oh, right. Ninth line. Yeah, that's too much. So, okay. Have to try to fight this. But we're not ever extending out these two stones. Right? That's not happening. Where's it gonna go? It's gonna go to the 3-4 stone, and then it's just gonna die a painful death. So, plan B. Get there first. If I cannot run this group out right now, then I will make myself strong where I'm trying to run to, and then run myself out. It makes perfect sense. Black's like, yeah, I can read three lines ahead. So, kills off the stones, obviously. Now it's time to settle. So, we're going to attach to all the things. In an effort to settle. Create as many cutting points as possible, and you will find shape. That is the plan. White backs off. Or black backs off, sorry. White gets a free Atari. Threatens to make shape. White, black says no. No Atari for you. Or not Atari. No I for you. There we go. Does have an Atari. Time to get out of here. White gets, black gets to extend. And extend. So, all right, not not too terrible. We can see what uh, Black has obtained for himself. He got this, he's got it in the top, and a teeny little bit on the bottom. White has a growing amount of influence. I mean, we can see right here, that's a forcing move, right? Let's get rid of all these other triangles. That is a forcing move right there. And with that forcing move, it looks like he might have thickness across the entire board. And I'm certain any time a professional player is forced to go for a lot of thickness and influence in a game, it always ends up well for him. So let's see what happens. White says I take. Black has to defend. White goes for even more. Little bit too greedy though, it looks like. Because that's not Sente. So Black fixes his shape. Immediately doesn't get a chance doesn't get a chance for white to uh, play here and take advantage for it for himself But he couldn't do it earlier because even if you could play this it's still not it's still not what you're looking for because you need some kind of uh, defense here So okay, I guess we don't get a board spanning um, What 14 lines or so we don't get that we don't get that huge 14 stone wall that would be very very interesting but since we cannot cut hmm dragon kill ah <sighs> do you want to kill the top is that what you're after it sounds like you want to kill white stones Oh. Well, white attaches. Can't cut. And just turning is kind of small. Just this, that's no good. That's not worthwhile. But if we can play here and get him to connect, keep him on the third line rather than the uh, upgrade to the fourth, that, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. 
So Black says, forget that crap. I'm going to extend out because you're in trouble. White cuts, has to follow up. If this, if this cut doesn't work, then why did we even attach in the first place? Black turns. It looks like this is not working out very well because there are two cutting points there. Can't defend both. So he plays his new favorite move, f18. When in doubt, attach under the stone, and things will go well for you. So all right. <laughs> Don't blame me if that goes well. If that doesn't go well, Kobe. So all right, we can see the Atari here. We get to extend because if Black gets greedy and plays g18, then we get to play k17 and just Atari straight through and kill stuff. So has to play here. White gets to connect, and this surely won't go badly. Pushing into the corner. Black says, you're dead. White says, I am not. You're dead. You only have two liberties. White points out the feeling is mutual. Forcing white to retreat. And retreat. But where was, some people might have thought that this was just going to be an exchange, corner stuff for the three stones, Black ties to hold on to everything because he can count. All he needs is three liberties to go back and kill the top. He has three liberties now. So what will happen? Well, tries to surround. Liberty count goes uh, up to four. Surrounds. But surrounding isn't minus one liberty, so okay, these are still dead on the top. But first we create cut point and then go back and kill. Black has to defend, or has to defend cut point. And thus the corner is now MIA. Now there is benefits here. This is not completely a problem. There are benefits to what happened here. White has a lot of influence now, right? No, nope, these stones are missing, because they're going to be completely captured and moved from the board. So, alright. White has... White has influence. I mean, there's, there's this... There's this, which is kind of looking like it. And... And that's kind of a possibility. So, we can kind of stretch our imagination to, like, really put on our thinking caps and took a bunch of LSD. Then we can see that we might be able to get a lot of stuff in the in the center. So okay, bunch of stuff in the center is a go. That is the plan. So white takes a small knight for himself. Yeah, you know, lots of Lee Seidol. Needs to channel his inner Lee Seidol and just take the entire game for himself. But how do you how do you start to attack this influence that we have all over the place? Where is that going to come from? It usually comes from uh, Aji, right? Where do we have the Aji? Death to everyone that just said Tengen. No. Bad Jamal. Go sit in the corner. All right, so we look for weak groups, is what, is what we do. We don't just immediately look for star points. Oh, I'll never get over that student that did that. I guess I've told you about that a dozen times, right? 
how I had that one student who was a little bit OCD, I guess, and whenever they saw a star point, they had to take it for themselves before doing anything else in the, in the game. So until the star points were taken off the board, or until they were like all taken by someone, they just didn't play anything else. That was one of the most difficult people I've ever taught. So I mean, how do you get... I mean, it I was just like some thing they had in their head. They saw a star point and they needed to play it. They just felt compelled to play the star point. So, yeah, that was a strange student. That was a strange student. But alright. Good student, though. Good student. They were, they were always nice and polite and uh, almost always showed up, even when they didn't feel well. Things like that. But definitely a different one. Definitely a weird one. Uh, that's why I said to say no Tengen is being played right now. Instead, we can look at this group and we can look at the cut point and put two and two together. They're like, all right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate a weak group and see if it gets us anything. All right, all right. Well, we can't Atari down because that would just be stupid. We could jump out, I guess. What sides to play the Atari? Who's Lee Seidel? Not in this game. This game is Lee Chang Ho, not Lee Seidel. Though some of their older games are awesome. Go look them up if you, if you need to later. Alright, so we're playing the Atari. We're gonna Atari our way to freedom. Have to extend again because Ahane is huge. Yeah, it's going on YouTube. And then take large point for himself. Star point, obviously best move. But it does mean that uh, Sente is given to white. So white takes, strengthens left side, takes extension for enclosure. We are now horribly over time, but let's go with this regardless. And if you need any further explanation that Li Cheng Ho's style has gotten a bit more aggressive, we can kind of see it now. I think it was Li Cheng Ho, uh, I fell in love with one of his games. He played against the San Rinsei uh, as white. And I remember that I like absolutely hated San Rinsei as much then as I did now. And I loved it when his response was just to attach under the stone. It's like, I'm living up or down. Pick one. Like, I absolutely love that game. And here we're seeing uh, something not quite the same. Yeah, he won. Not quite the same. But we are attaching for strength. We're trying to get Sente. Not Sente, we're trying to get a uh, forcing move. Sente, not, yes, that too. In order to make bases and shape and stuff. So, okay. White decides, you know what, you're not going to do that. I'm going to put pressure on you. So black says, oh, hey, look, another stone. Attach. So I guess technically some something might live. We're getting closer to the corner, in any way. So that's something, right? It's a game of attachments. We had white start it. With the stone that's no longer on the board. Uh, but yeah, white started it with that stone, I do believe. And then continued it up, uh, up on top. And now Black's the one doing it. Awesome. So, okay. What we know from attachments, if we play the Hane, it leaves a cut. If we give the cut, they're going to get cross-cut, and then that creates Aji. So typically, we're... Uh, 
if at all possible, we sometimes like to just extend, not leave the odd cube behind. So, okay. Extending nice and strong. Hey, look, another stone. This one makes sense, though. This one make we can understand this one. This one's like getting, this is like the corner. There's Aji enforcing moves there. So we get this one. This is just a classic invasion. It's just not started in a way that's at all classic. The two attachments before the attachment is not a Jiseki you're gonna find in a book somewhere. So time to try and divide and conquer. Creates a cut point. Gonna get it cut, obviously. Mm, I don't think C10 is uh, quite standard. I think the shoulder would be quite standard. Um, the more guest move, I guess you would say, if you were to like just ask a pool of Go players, like how do you think this is gonna be uh, actual actually reduced? you probably find the shoulder it more often than the attachment. My opinion, anyway. Uh, so, right. Now that we have Aji, we're using this for forcing moves, trying to get some extra shape, or not shape, but uh, some strength. Perhaps have a Ko, perhaps have a Ko. Now, this is why I didn't want to go over this game. Suffice it to say, there's a co, and it goes on for quite a while. You, play. There we go. And why did you pick it? Because it seemed like a good idea at the time. Given that we're already running uh, out of time completely, I'm going to go over this co very, very quickly. Wait, I just did something bad, didn't I? I did. How did that stone get there? What is going on? Who's controlling my mouse? There we go. Yes, the tree, ripping pieces. I didn't want to get this tree perfect because then the other one would feel jealous. Because they're like right next to each other in my games list, and one would just constantly insult the other. So now they can't insult each other. They're, they're going to be friends. Trees have feelings. Trees have feelings. All right, so suffice it to say, each player had co-threats. But it seems that white's running low on them. So he backs off, which means black has to have some shape. He's not completely out of the woods yet. He has to worry about uh, still dying, because where is he going to connect to? Does he have a single eye yet? No, not really. So we've got shape, but we don't have life just yet. Great, so what do we do next? Well, clearly we're going to play Tengen because it's a star point. Right? Is that the only, is that the only reason why we're playing this? What do you think? Are you guys still paying attention? Are we reading all the things? What language? I just said... Read all the things. Oh, reading, bad word, got it. Um, looks like a super, oh wait, did someone get it? Uh, place to run to, re I think someone's mentioning it with the, with the knight. No? Anyway, uh, there's Aji here, right? Cut off and rest in pieces. Oh, I said the word that I censored in my chat. Yeah, good point. Good point. Indeed. This is a threat now. This is a threat. So we have to play here. Cut still available. White says that's okay. I'm going to attack this. Now we have an interesting game on our hands. This is turning into a very, very aggressive kill or live, who's going to win kind of game. Because it's all up to this group that white is severely trying to attack. Black's following. 
threatens to capture, keeps this connection, tries to go for second eyes, which are immediately poked out. Threats to surround corner results in recapturing of the co. But now there's local threats, so we can't really do that, can we? Well, we're going to try. We are going to try. Keeps connection to the outside by doing this and not going through. Threatens to capture. But capture means I. Can't let that happen. Time to retake. Threatens to kill stone. Not going to allow that to happen either. And thus we retake. Same deal. We're threatening life on many different places. Can't let the stone get captured. So white says, how, or black says, how about I capture this? And white says, no, you're not capturing that either. But look at all of the odds you there now. Holy crap. The top is one stone away from getting captured. So F19 is not a problem. But the question now is, what about like this and that and this and oh that over there? I mean, is everything gonna, is everything really alive? Black says, prove it. White says, I am proving it by killing you. This keeps disconnection quite nicely before cutting off white stones. Pushes through and connect. New. You cut, you push and connect. There we go. Now that makes sense. Well, the tree is already destroyed, so it's fine. So that's an obvious cut point. Have to protect it. Try to get the eyes, but because, okay, that sucks too. I'm just moving you. There, no one saw that. And because the uh, B7 stones are not off the board yet, we can throw in because he can't connect. Right? Can't connect to uh, the white B6 stones. The result of which is death. So sad, rip in pieces. White is forced to resignate. There is much resignating going on. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. This has been a really, really long review. Sorry for those of you on YouTube that are not sitting through all of it. But I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.